to win a game like that, shooting 34%, and what, what do you feel like that said about your defensive performance? Yeah, I, I, I thought both teams played really well defensively. I thought it was a really physical um, battle, you know, a typical conference game in February. Are we in fe February? Um, loved their effort. I thought our double teams were really great. Um, and I thought their defense was just as good. So I thought it was two very, very well played teams play very good defense. In, in the first half when they got up seven, you called the timeout with about nine minutes to go. And then from there, really controlled the rest of the half. Um, what Was there adjustment? What would you see? No, it, it was it more up? just, I, I just kind of reminded our guys that, you know, I, I, I asked them if someone, if someone could make a shot, it'd be really helpful. So I kind of just joked around with them, just relaxed them a little bit because we had gotten, I thought we started off good and then we missed some shots and we got tight and I started seeing a bad pattern happening. I just thought they needed to, to relax. And so I told them a joke, to be honest. I just told them if someone would make a shot, I would make the ball guy real happy. And that kind of made everybody laugh. And I thought the rest of the way was pretty good. Uh, you, you mentioned Tuesday how like it's hard to stop Trace Jackson Davis. And no matter what, he's still going to get his points. And he had like uh, 18 points and 20 plus rebounds. But what did you think of how uh, Julian Reeves handled played against him defensively, especially thought, during the early stages? Of the I season? thought it was awesome, man. Um, I, I, again, I know I, I think everyone was killing me on Twitter because what I talked about him. But I think he's he's a big time, big time player, um, and I think Julian Reese is slowly turning into just as big time player. Um, to sit there and battle the bigs, he's had the battle for the last five games, um, and really. If not win it, break even. Just shows you how far Julian's come. A couple things. First off, the turnovers, none in the first half at all. Uh, and But just in general, to take care of the ball in a, in a defense-oriented game like this, what, what do you kind of take away from that? Yeah, I, we, we've just kind of put the ball in Jameer and Hakeem's hands a lot more. Um, we're not running nearly as many pick and rolls with the other guys. Um, and I've also cut the playbook down a little bit to kind of help them a little bit. So. Um, I think Hakeem and Jameer are making really good decisions. And to kind of build up what you were saying about defending Jackson Davis, the work that Patrick did in there, undersized again, but still being able to hold up as well. I know you've talked about how valuable he is, but it seemed like on a night like tonight, it stood out even more. Yeah, I mean, you look at what Pat and Ian did off the bench. I mean, I thought Ian was phenomenal uh, defensively being active. And what Pat did, they're plus 18 and plus 8 um, in, a, in a close game. Um, Pat being healthy, has been it's been the difference. I, I can harp on it all you want. People think I'm nuts, but um, every game we've lost, he's been hurt and hasn't played. So he's he's really valuable for us. Coach, uh, Jalen Huchifino had 24 the other night against uh, Ohio State tonight. He had three on one of 14. Just how important is that matchup? Yeah, I mean, he, he's a talented young man. He got them back in the game. I thought Ohio State jumped on him early, um, and he kind of just – he got into him. I mean, I, I think sometimes, especially a freshman, the first time you've really seen a real press, um, it can shake you a little bit. And I thought we didn't shake them. I, th I was really impressed with how he handled it. But I thought it didn't let him get into a rhythm that he got into where they could just come down and throw it into Trace and, and they could work off that. So I thought the press was really effective in not really in, in helping take a freshman kind of out of a, a rhythm. Coach, we talked earlier this season about you know, how this is kind of an undersized group. But how pleased have you been with the effort against some of the best bigs in the entire country, and Dickinson, Edie, um, and that uh, J Jackson Davis, just in terms of the execution of your game plan? I, yeah, I mean, I, I think I'll go, I'll go back and, and give Julian Reese all the credit. Um, he's been phenomenal. Um, popped his shoulder out against UCLA. Couldn't really play against Michigan. Ever since he's gotten healthy and back into a rhythm, we've been we've been a really good basketball team. So um, I'd like to say I have great game plans. I mean, really. I mean, Julian Reese is out there battling, playing one-on-one -on -one defense against Edie, against Trace Jackson, against Wall, not Wall, Crowell. Thank you. Um, he's been doing it, man. He's been awesome. Coach, you've mentioned you've showed the guys bracketology, Ken Palm throughout this month. Now you've held serve at home, winners of three in a row. Where would you evaluate where this team stands in the big picture as of now? Yeah, I mean, you know, 
I, I feel we're getting punished because we played two bad games. When I watch everyone else play bad games, they don't seem to get punished. So I think it's my job to start letting everybody realize we kicked a lot of people's ass at the beginning of the year. We had two big guys hurt, and now we're playing pretty good basketball again. I saw a, I saw a team ranked top five lose by 28, and it was like, oh, no big deal. You know, I, I threw the towel in at Michigan. That was kind of, that was the old three card money, because I knew we were playing them again. So I thought, if I lose by 40, they're not going to, they think they're just going to walk in here and then it's in New York. Maryland people don't think that way yet. I'll get you guys thinking that way, though. You're from New York? Gotta be upstate. <laughs> Thought I liked you. Here we go. You just came a long way. <laughs> Coach, how important was Dante tonight? It seemed very physical in there. I mean, 19 points when you needed a bucket, went inside, he got it. Yeah, I think Dante's back to, you know, again, Man, his shot's gonna come around. I know it is. Um, he's got he got some great looks tonight, but I think he's he's back to slowing down a little bit. Um, I think he's enjoying the physicality, and again, defensively, he's got the hardest assignment every night because of, of what we do defensively. Really depends on on him, um, and I think he's been really really good at at just kind of understanding the game plan. And I think he's slowed down back on offense. And again, I think being at home has helped him. It's just kind of. He's practiced great. He's gotten a good rhythm. I think it's helped him. Uh, Coach, we just talked about holding serve at home. How do you think this team kind of carries this momentum from sweeping this home stand, going on the road and getting success Yeah, there? we, we got we to figure out how to win on the road. Like, we got to do it. It's, I don't know how many road games we have left, but, you know, we got we to gotta figure it out. We've played good spurts. Um, we played a really good spurt at Wisconsin. We played, I thought we played a heck of a game at Purdue. Um, who else do we lose to? Iowa. You know, I, I, I thought I thought we had a really good spurts in Iowa. We we have to be able to put forty minutes together on the road, um, and I think it's we got to bring our defensive intensity. It, it's got to travel with us. It, I don't think it has. So that's that's the thing we got to build on. Thank you. It's eleven o'clock at night. Uh, in, in the second half, the lead kind of stayed eight to ten points kind of the whole time. Obviously, defense was a huge part of that. But how did you guys manage to keep them in check and just keep that lead right there the whole time? Yeah, the I mean, time I, right now? yeah, I, I think the big thing in games like that is, um, I thought we got some. I, I thought we had two really big offensive rebounds that keep the possessions alive at the seven minute mark and around the five minute mark that gave us an extra. 40 seconds of offense. And if, I know it doesn't seem like that, but in a close game, getting a couple offensive rebounds and burn, even though we we chucked up shots at the end of it, just getting 40 seconds off the clock. If you look at it, next thing you know, it's, there's only three minutes left. So I thought the offensive rebounds were big for us. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Julian, just. How would you describe what was it like, you know, defensively going against um, Trace Jackson Davis at the, the night? Um, definitely try to take on that challenge. Um, you know, him being so highly touted in this conference in, in the country, um, kind of took that personally. Kind of try to go at him, and I feel like I did what I had to do to get us the. Dante, congratulations on the win. It, it seemed like after halftime, something kind of clicked, and it, you just were out there imposing your will on on Indiana, just backing them down, kind of a switch in the first half when you were looking more for looks from outside. Was that purposeful for you to go physically and seeing how that was working for you? Uh, my coach said that he would like me to be more physical um, because I got pushed in the back a couple times, and uh, he didn't think I was being too physical. So um, I just decided that I had to go out there I try to be physical, more physical than I was being uh, because I'm a very physical player in my eyes. And uh, I know that I have more physicality to uh, put on the court. And if I can do one for Juju, this this last couple of stretch, you've played and gone up against some of the biggest names in the Big Ten, biggest star players size wise and everything uh, and acquitted yourself very well. Is does that give you any kind of fuel for the stretch run to know that there's nobody in this league that you really can't handle? Yeah, definitely. Um, as I said in previous interviews, definitely a big confidence booster for me. 
And for the team, um, I feel like they can depend on me when we got those big matchups, um, them big, the big time players we playing against, and they can have confidence in me and and know that I can deal with them and just a, a, a good overall feeling. Uh, Dante, over this recent set uh, stretch, coach has kind of said that you guys have been able to get to the free throw line and get the right guys to the free throw line. Um, how have you been able to? You know, you had 29 attempts tonight as a team. How have you been able to do that, and how key of a difference has that been in these last couple of games? Just trying to be more physical uh, because it's not too many uh, times where you go down on the floor and then full speed and you're just gonna go up and uh, get the foul. You gotta. Uh, Really look to uh, be more physical on your drives and keep pl try to play through uh, like the contact, and that's what we try to focus on uh, because we know if we try to shy away from the contact, then we most likely not going to foul, and that's what we really try to uh, put the emphasis on is just being physical and just uh, really just pushing through. Uh, we know there was going to be a physical team bump us and stuff like that, so we just try to play through the bumps and uh, just let the uh, referees make the decisions from there. Juju. Um see about five minutes ago you just tweeted the Michael Jordan just became personal thing with the uh, Indiana talking about their Purdue game coming up did you feel like maybe you guys were being disrespected a little bit coming to this game knowing that Indiana was on this winning streak and had just become ranked at all yeah definitely um definitely felt disrespected as a team and you know felt like they just kind of overlooked this you know watching them warm up they was all laughing giggling me, me and the team we seen that we took that kind of personally and we, you know, we just went out there, punched them in the mouth, and got off to a good start and just was rolling the whole game. All right. All right, thank you. Just, what did you think of the defensive effort today to shoot only 34% and still win the way you did? Yeah, just, um, you know, sending Trace and uh, Race a couple different reads, um, just trying to be physical with them, um, make them think a little bit more. Um, make it tough for them, however we can. Um, you know, Trace did a good job of, you know, handling the double teams and, you know, making cross-court passes. But um, we decided we just want to live with that today. I'm um, just trying to make it uncomfortable for him. Uh, Jameer, uh, Willard, uh, Coach Willard mentioned on uh, yesterday how no matter what well, um, Trace Jackson Davis seems to get his – to get his uh, – get his whatever he wants. Yeah. Um, and he still had 18 points and 20 rebounds. But just – could you speak on, like – the way Julian Reese played defensively and how much that how much that play impact today? Yeah, I feel like Ju had a great game. Um, he was very physical. Um, he didn't. He was had a next play mentality. He didn't let anything get to him. And, you know, when Trey scored or um, got his way on that specific possession, so he was just playing through um, all of that and really just having second efforts and really just trying to make it tough for him. Um, he knows Trace is a good player, so and Ju's a great player also. So they, he was taking on that matchup, to be honest with you, and he was ready for the challenge. Jameer, zero turnovers in the first half today. How big was that to get off to a hot start? Yeah, you know, they're a very talented team, and we just had to value the basketball um, to give us a good chance. So I'm um, just trying to be sharp uh, with everything that we did and making sure that we had a certain type of urgency um, to start the game. Thank you. Uh, Jalen Hutchfino, right here. Uh, Jalen Hutchfino was pretty much shut down. Um, as a guard, I know you guys were playing a lot of zone, but having to defend him a lot, what was the game plan for him, and how do you think you had success against him? Uh, you know, he's shooting about 40, 40 high 40s um, from the behind the arc. So just trying to make him take tough twos, um, really just trying to make it tough for him. Um, you know, he's a great player, um, high, highly recruited um, coming out. So just I'm um, trying to win the matchup um, myself and really just trying to go at him uh, was key. Jameer, you uh, really came out <clears throat> hot from the field this night. What was working for you inside the arc tonight? Uh, I'm just trying to use my uh, quick first step to my advantage, um, get into the lane. Um, they're a great defensive team, and they're very physical. So when I get in there, ready to you know kick it out um, and find shooters and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to get to the rim and um, get a few easy ones early on. I felt like uh, that was able to get me going. And in a game like this where you're playing a ranked team in Indiana, they come in with a five-game win streak, how much in a game like that does the crowd help you guys fuel, fuel your momentum? Yeah, a lot. Um, you know, they bring it every time. And, you know, we're 6-0 and at home um, for a reason, um, and they're a huge part of that. So, uh, you know, their energy is huge. Um, 
and you know we're thankful for them and um we just appreciate them you know bringing the noise and bringing that atmosphere it really um gives us an extra little uh energy and, and just extra pride that we uh play with